Hello and welcome to another installment of Let's Play Alan Wake. Last time, got to Mirror Peak and uh, was touched by the darkness, and then we woke up in this um, insane asylum of sorts, and um, chatted with crazy people, and now the crazy people are doing something weird downstairs. And we're supposed to go investigate. I'm, I'm a little worried of what I'm going to find, though, to be quite honest. What in the world are those two doing? What are they doing? Where did they get a hammer from? That's that's a better question. Or are they just playing with the with the fake one? Why can I not go in her room? Why is it off limits? It's dumb. Okay. Um What's going on? Can I put this on yet? No. Why not? Alright. Um. What's this way? Nothing. Oh, there's a coffee. Ooh. Ooh, a coffee. Ooh. I am pleased. I'm gonna need coffee to deal with the crazy people down here. Why does he have a bear rug? I hope it's fake. <laughs> a manuscript page? Oh my goodness, so many goodies. Let's listen to it. Barry in the Lodge. Barry? Oh my god, Barry! Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman's Barry's coming to rescue me! The interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice <gasps> hand on Barry's shoulder. No! Leave Barry alone! No! No! I have to go rescue Barry again. This game is all about rescuing Barry. That's what I've... Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart uh -oh. hurt hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office Tom, from Sinclair. Your destiny. What do you? What did you guys do here? <laughs> Come on okay, well at least she's music, she's it's not dead. Pay the piper. What did you guys do with the other crazy people? I kind of love these two. I kind of love them. Can I take them with me along with the crazy video game guy? Because I'm really loving all these people here. No, you're supposed to jump over the table, Alan. Do do do. Um, are you guys drunk? What is going on here? I wish I had my axe. No, I I don't want you to have your axe. Oh, this is a bad idea. Can't take in all my manuscript pages. That's where you've been keeping them. Who are they trying to get to? Oh, the birch guy, right, they were saying. Can I get through there? No. Apparently they have nothing else to say. That works for me. Um, now, which door is it that I'm supposed to go through? Is it... Patient rooms. No, that doesn't sound right. What? 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 This one. Okay, do it. Do it, Alan, do it! We gotta go to Hartman's office. And heaven knows what we'll find there. <gasps> I hear Barry. I hear Barry. The wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing. <gasps> oh my God, that's Mach. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. 
<gasps> oh my goodness! Why would he post that in the in this place? Oh my gosh, where's Barry? Is this Barry? Barry, come out. Barry, I love you. Is it Barry? Barry, why are you hiding behind me? Time, Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. Barry. You need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such, <laughs> or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, you do that. That fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's, what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. <laughs> That'll teach her. Yeah, that's harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Oh my god, Barry, can you please marry me? I love Barry so much. I really, really do. What's in here? The that was really creepy. Why did the door close behind me? Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment. <gasps> oh my goodness. Right. My goodness. Let's listen. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's. Do you mean with you? No. Not with me. No. Never. I. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me, because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. Aw, how sad. All gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, doctor. Because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. <gasps> just a recording. Ooh. Interesting. Hartman, what are you playing at? Ooh, can I draw on this? I want to draw on this. Right now. A manuscript page... Mott fails Hartman. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. What is his plan? Tell me. Alan, write me a page that tells me what Hartman's gonna do. Also, which way am I going now? Can I go this way? No. I noticed there was a locked door in Barry's room. There was no time to waste. I had to go to Hartman's office, get the missing pages, and get out. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Barry! I love you, Barry! <laughs> ah, I'm so happy that he's back! Okay, what do we got? 
Ooh, a roller. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. <gasps> what is it? I want to read it. He's taking my manuscript. Why? Alan, please. <gasps> You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> ah, well, it was worth a shot. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's the truth is coming Let's out. work together on this. You have no idea. Harvey, what... shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. <gasps> Barry. Oh, Al, let's just go. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and my Oh no, the darkness is getting mad. Run, Alan, run. Uh oh. Alan, that wasn't nice. Why did you make him get possessed? Now I'm gonna have to fight him. <laughs> 